It's May 8th, 2009, and today I nearly died. I wake up this morning and it is storming like crazy. I can hear the hail on the roof. I look out my window. The pool is going crazy because there's so much water flowing into it. The trees are crazy. It's still hitch dark outside and it's like 720. So I get ready really fast and I rush to school out the door and then I'm leaving for school and there is just tons of rain and it's like every street is just like one entire puddle and I'm going and there's trees down in the road so I'm freaking out I'm like oh I'm gonna be late I passed through 18 stoplights on my way to school four of them exploded okay there was these huge I didn't know but if you ever seen the power go off on um, stoplights they turn this bright blue light that comes from all of them I don't know what that is there's probably like a scientific reason I don't know but they were like exploding. And then I saw so many ambulances, which kind of freaked me out because I had to pull over into the big puddles and I was like, ah. Keep in mind, I drive a Hummer, so really I shouldn't have any reason to be scared. But then I turn on the main road of, of like, of my town and the wind is so crazy. You just see water. It's like horizontal rain and all the cars are like veering. I was having trouble keeping my car on the road. I drive a Hummer. This should not be happening. Anyway. So I like you can look down the road and you just see each individual business's lights go out. It was actually really cool, and they come back on. But the, the thing that annoyed me was the street lights were so annoying because you, it was all four-way stops on the busiest street in town. Anyway, I get there, and I'm on. I turn on the road that my school is on. And there's a power plant right by it, and it explodes like sparks go all across the road and like hit the road. Oh my gosh, it was crazy, right in front of my car. I was freaking out. And I pull in the parking lot, and I park, and I'm just sitting in there. And my sister's boyfriend, Grant, and one of my friends, and my doubles partner in tennis, comes up, and he like, knocks on my window, and I was like, get in, get in. So we got in, and we were talking about everything we saw, and it was just absolutely insane. So we finally go in the building, and we go in the gym, no one's in there. And that's where we chill before school, but no one's in the gym. So we go to this tiny hallway with no windows, and that's where everyone is, because everyone's afraid there's going to be a tornado. And I was like... There's not a tornado, and I look out at the tennis courts of the school, and the windscreens are flying off of the fences. So pretty much, I don't know what we're going to do for tennis. I mean, we have the club. Anyway, um, and we're all sitting there, and I look around, and I'm like, wow, I'm the only person in my class here today. The bell rings, and everyone's like, okay, well, I guess get to class. And we were kind of like, uh, okay. So we go to class. My teacher shows up, she goes, hey, Will, and I was like, hey, she's one of my favorite teachers of all time, so it was really fun, so we just chilled and I worked on something, but, yeah, could you imagine being the only person in your entire class? Mind you, I go to a very, very small private school, but still, it was a really weird feeling, and then I go to second hour, don't do anything, finally call and come home. As I'm coming home, all the street lights are out, all the businesses are out, there's nowhere to get lunch, because... Every, and no, no place has no place has power. So I'm driving down there. So there's leaves everywhere, and trees and branches, and all the all the cars in the school parking lot, even though there are very few today, were just covered in leaves on one side. But it was seriously, it was just horizontal rain. And then it reminded me of like the last tornado I was in. Like it was that type of feeling. And I, you could just see metal business signs just crumple up in balls. It was crazy, and they were flying everywhere. There were so many ambulances and police cars out, and then they were directing traffic. I've never, like, had it so bad where the cops were actually directing traffic where to go. I've never even seen that before, and it was insane, let me tell you. Anyway, I made it safely home, and I think I'm just going to go take a nap for the rest of my life because I didn't die. I, oh my gosh, my, yeah, I'm done. I am done. I'm never driving in weather again, ever. Bye, guys.